Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the, my emergency brake system for my remote controlled full size car. I've chosen a pneumatic uh, piston, which I got from eBay for around 20, 28 bucks. Uh, it is 175 millimeters long and got a bore of 32 millimeters, which gives around 60 kilograms of force if you got around 10 bars of pressure. And I also got this five-way uh, solenoid um, to control the piston. You see it's just strips on. I've also got these quick connectors. They are really useful. So very quick to connect everything together using this 6 millimeter tubing. To activate the solenoid I got these two radios. It's Baofeng. I got them uh, on eBay for around uh, 25 bucks a piece. Uh, I had them for quite some while and they work very good, uh, long range. Uh, so I use this with a long antenna to receive to get a good signal. And to activate the relay, uh, I'm using this uh, 2.5 millimeters uh, jack output. Uh, it gives about 3.3 volts, uh, which is too little to drive the 12 volt solenoid. Therefore, I just made this little circuit board containing only a MOSFET and a resistor to pull the signal low when it's not getting signal from this uh, jack. So I uh, also made a little battery pack consisting of three uh, 18650 batteries uh, which are about 4 volts a piece so you get a 12 volt pack if you connect them in series. So I just plug up the 12 volts and then this is the signal cable and I um, used a 3.5 millimeters jack which is actually too big to fit in there so I'll just use a little adapter and then for the so for the air supply I've got this six millimeter tubing and uh, this standard compressor uh, air coupling so we'll go ahead and hook this up and then we get a 3, uh, 3 volt signal from this radio going to the MOSFET, opening for 12 volts to the solenoid. And you can see it actuates pretty quickly. That's why I chose pneumatics. Now I've chosen a frequency that is very little crowded, uh, but there might be some interference. And, uh, but you can adjust the threshold on the radio, so you get uh, the least amount of uh, interruption. You can also input transmitting and receiving codes on these radios, so that you make sure only this radio uh, is able to actuate uh, the piston. But the only drawback about using codes is that it's just a little bit longer to verify the code before it uh, opens for transmission, and therefore it's a little bit slower. About half a second or so.